everybody, Kathy here from Whole Home and Body Health. And today I have a product review for you on the Lambs clothing. These are Lambs t-shirts, I've got several, I've got one on. Um, and I just wanted to do a little review to see how they perform. Um, of course, Lambs is a clothing company that uh, sells our radio frequency shielded clothing, hats, um, boxers, t-shirts, etc. And the idea is if you are in a high radio frequency environment, you can wear their protective shielded clothing to block the radio frequency that may be impacting your body. So um, there's a couple things to consider here when you're wearing shielded clothing. Now this is a t-shirt, obviously my face, my head, my neck, my arms, my the bottom half of my body, uh, not protected. Um, but my heart, my liver, my spleen, my pancreas, I mean all my vital organs, besides my brain, are protected, so that's a good thing. Um, a lot of this really depends on the sensitivity of the person and if this is gonna work or not for you. So the more sensitive you are, the more of your body that you want to cover, the more of your body that you wanna shield, um, if you're less sensitive, you may be able to get away with less shielding. Uh, of course, if it's in the middle of the summer and it's 100 degrees, a t-shirt probably is going to be a, a lot better comfort-wise than, you know, a, a poncho or a full long sleeve t-shirt or a jacket or whatever. Okay, so let's see how they work. Let's see how well they're shielding. So I've got a uh, Safe and Sound Pro 2 here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on and see what kind of frequencies, exposure we're getting. Uh, let's see, I've got about, right here, I've got about 30 microwatts per square meter from neighbors. Um, now I do have a phone here that I'm gonna turn on and we're gonna watch that number increase. All right, so I'm gonna turn this phone on. Da, 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 da. Okay, you're gonna take it out of airplane mode and there you go, you can hear it right away. So now I'm at, well, my highest peak there was 200,000 and then I'm like 11,000. And you know, this is gonna fluctuate up and down so this is a little bit challenging, but what I'm gonna do here is put this T-shirt in front of the meter, which is a little challenging because you can't see the readings. You can certainly hear that though. Pretty high. I got 500,000 there, 200,000. Now, let's see. If I put it, t shirt in front of it, you're gonna have to kind of trust me on the readings here. What I'm getting, so I'm getting 11,000, and when I take it away, I'm at 200,000. All right, let's do that again. Man, that phone. Ugh. All right, 130,000. Okay, you can still hear it, so it's, you know, and this isn't a complete shield. I mean, there's gaps around here, right? That's just the way that this works. So right now I have 15,000. When I take it away, I've got 100, and that was 170,000. Okay, and now it quieted down, because the phone probably stopped, you know, getting a text or email or whatever. Okay, so let me turn that off. With those results, I would say, it's definitely working. Now I'm gonna turn this phone off so we don't keep getting exposed. Okay, so um, that's, a, that's a huge reduction. If I was getting you know, 200,000 um, without the shield in front of the meter and with the shield, I was getting uh, you know, 11,000, um, huge reduction. A and I would expect it to be you know, in real life, a little bit better because you've got a better seal around your body rather than just holding it up. So what I can do, I can kind of try to take this with the, with the meter under the shirt. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'll go ahead and do it. Cause that's kind of what we really wanna know, right? All right, so I'm gonna turn the phone back on. Got our high readings. All right. Um, let me let the phone cycle for a second. Okay, 
163,000. All right, now, this is what, <laughs> oh look, it stays. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Okay, you can actually see the LED light, LED light here. So it's going from green to yellow, which means we're in the, the low range. And if I, and there we got a spike into the red, which you could see because the phone's doing something. All right, so if I look at the readings, I'm, I'm between one to 10,000, okay? That was 6,000. Now if I take it out, I'm at 10 right now because the phone is quiet. There was a spike of 24,000, 10,000. All right, six. All right, this is actually, what I need to do here is make a phone call. That's, that's probably gonna be the better, that's gonna give us better results, okay? So I'm gonna make a phone call so that it's constantly going so that we don't get these low times. Don't even know how to make a phone call. All right. Okay, so I just dialed a number. I'm making a call. Now it's gonna be very high. I'm at 77,000, 15, 16. It's in the red. All right, I'm putting it under here. I'm at five and 6,000. 7,000, 8,000, I take it out, I'm at 31, 41, 24, okay, so we get the idea here, so let me turn that off, and let me turn off the phone, okay, so, put that in airplane mode, um, so we're still getting, that's, I feel like that's a little bit better of a test there, and we were getting about half, more than half, um, of a reduction, you know, more than 50%. So I think that's pretty good. You know, again, in building biology, we say that any reduction is worth achieving. So 50, 60, 70% reduction, absolutely worth it. The readings are still high, but um, we're, I mean, I'll take a 50% reduction any day. I'll take a 10%, 20%, 30%, any reduction is worth achieving. So I feel like this is pretty good. Um, now, a couple of things I wanna mention about the brand. So this, this shirt is, that I have on, uh, they sent me a medium. This is the medium, which honestly to me, uh, for me, this is way too small. I typically wear a size small, sometimes a medium um, in most US brands. Um, and even then sometimes, you know, a small, a small in some brands can be a little big some brands, you know, a medium is, fits a little better. This fits me like an extra small, what I would expect for an extra small in the US to fit me. Now, this is a European company, so the sizes are a little different. So I just want you to be aware of that. Uh, I would definitely order up a minimum of one size, maybe even two. Uh, so let's see, I do have a large here, so I'm gonna put that one on, let you see. Okay, so this is the large. Um, probably can't tell much of a difference. It's, it's much looser, it's looser around the arms. The medium was really tight around my arms here. It's not like I got big guns, right? Like, seem, for a medium, way, way, too, way too tight. So, this is the large, and I like my clothes to be a little, a little looser. I don't like the tight fitting stuff, so I would wear a large, um, which is just, I mean, I, I don't wear a large in any size. So again, order up. Um, okay. So another thing I want to mention here is that the, um, the fabric they use, I just want to talk about that real quick. So this one, I've got an extra large here. It is 49% modal, however you say that, 33% silver. 19% PES, I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to look at, figure that out. 3% elastic. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, not all fabrics are good for all people. So you gotta consider that. Now, I think this is pretty soft and um, it's comfortable for me. Um, 
and, and they're also different. So this is a medium, and this is 44% cotton, 39% silver, and 7% polyester. So I'm not sure why these are different. I don't know if they changed their formula. Um, I'm guessing that they did. So you probably wanna check. Um, that may happen a lot. You wanna check what the most recent fabric is uh, because if you don't like polyester, for example, I loathe polyester. It creates a lot of static electricity. Um, you know, with a very low amount in here, 17%, it might be fine. But if it was more like 35% and above, I'd try to avoid polyester. Um, but I do like the cotton. So anyway, just consider that. Um, otherwise, you know, I think this is a pretty decent product uh, for what it is for, for somebody that needs a little extra shielding. Now just be aware that not everybody feels well with shielded clothing on. Um, sometimes there is some conductivity. So if you're in a high electric field, you might feel worse because there is the potential that it could couple onto the fabric. So that I think is why some people feel worse. Some people are just so sensitive that there's a theory that they can actually kind of trap their body's own magnetic field and it's too intense for them. Um, some of these things we just, we don't know why people don't feel good in them, why people might feel worse. Uh, but I find that it's definitely worth trying because if you're sensitive, you need to figure out what's gonna work for you. And if this is a good solution for you, if you feel better, it's absolutely worth it. So yeah, so that's my review of the Lambs t-shirts. I hope you found that helpful. If you've got any questions about this, um, please leave any comments below. Um, always happy to chat with you guys and please subscribe and hit the bell and the like and all the things so that I can continue to bring this information to more people. Okay, everybody, we'll see you next time. Bye.